Okay, here's the third video in the sequence for February 13. I hope you did, do take some time to enjoy the snow. In any event, um, here is the, the third page of the activity for today, or what would have been the activity for today. Again, I urge you, please try this before you watch this video. This video will give you the spoilers. and You don't want to miss out on getting a little bit of excitement on your own. But in any event, here we go. This is my explanation, and this is the third page of that worksheet. So it says, you know, our, our goal has been to find this functional equation. Well, I gave you the functional equation already. Now, we're looking at this kind of difference equation for quadratic sequences. Here it is. And we already kind of know what the functional equation is, but here we're going to explain how that, how that came about. Okay, so let's take a sequence. Let's take a sequence that, that where we filled in the D with 1, and we filled in this E, which I've been calling capital D, but that's just fine. Sometimes mathematicians like to use different variables with a 2, and S0 is 1. So if you look at the sequence and use the formula, let's see. Here's the term, the first term, A0, that's just 1 because that's what we're assuming. And then 1 plus 1, or 1 plus 1, let me write this out here. This is the S n, there's the 1, 2 times 0. And then the next one says, all right, take that number and then add 1 to it, 2 times 1. But look at what we're doing here. We're doing something a little funny. What we're doing is we're kind of like grouping this thing together in a funny way. What am I doing? Well, I'm grouping the previous term. Let's see, here's the previous term, and it's going there. Now, once we're done with that, here, this whole term, where's that? That's ending up here. Oh, okay. But then what I've done is I've rewritten it a bit. See, I've, I've got a bunch of ones, and I've grouped them up. Now, I have one, two, three, one pluses. There they are, one, two, three, one pluses. And I wrote this out in a funny way. But that's okay. And then let's see, 2 times 0 is 0. There's the 2 times 1. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the whole, this whole thing here. There it is. Or rather, oops, let's take this guy, this part of it here. Write it here. There it is. And then we're going to add on the 1 and the 2 times 2 now. And we're going to regroup it. Because if you look at it, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 pluses. And then we're going to regroup and use it again. So we're going to take this guy. Here it is. And where is it? It is here. And then the 1 plus part. And let's see, how many 1s do I have now? Well, I've got 5 of them. And then what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to grab that whole regrouped piece and repeat the process. There it is. Okay, so how do I continue? How do I go, how do I go up to the next few terms? Let's see. Well, you can even kind of cut to the chase, I think. I think you look at this and you say, huh, there's, there's something. You, you don't have to write out all the things to figure this out. You can just jump right to it. See, for S6, what is it? Well, it'll be 1 plus. Now, how many 1s go into parentheses? Well, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 of them in the 5. So 1 fewer. So here there's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then what do I what do I have? Then I've got a two times something. What do I have? Well, I'm going to have two times one plus two plus three plus four. It's following the pattern. I was a one, a one plus two, one plus two plus three plus four. And then I'm adding on the next part. One plus two times five. So this is S. Six. Now we can rearrange that. Notice, because how many sixes do I have? Well, I have five, six, seven of them. One plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I have plus two times one plus two plus three plus four plus five. And then you can fill out S7 and S8. I'm writing a little kind of big on here, so I'm going to run out of room if I do too much more of this, but I'll do S7. It's this whole expression again. I'm on a tablet, so I can just go copy, move, 
two. There it is. Plus one plus two times six. And regroup. And you can do S8. So what's the pattern? Hmm. So we're going to need to do something here to rewrite this in a nice way. How do we do that? Well, for one thing, if you look at it, the S5 term, for instance, or the S6 term, or the S7 term, how many ones get added together in total? Well, let's see. Let's look at S7. How many ones are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's one more. Okay. Now, what else is there? There's also a two times this number. Now, wait a moment. We did this before already, didn't we? Yeah, this thing here, this thing is, this is a triangular number. It's the sum of those integers. We found a formula for that, time, didn't we? For 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus up to n, we found that was n times n plus 1. Oops, that's kind of messy. Let's write it bigger. n plus 1 over 2. We found that last time in class. So, if we put all these things together, I think we can rewrite this in a nice way. We can say Sn is, what is it? Well, it looks like it's 2 times n times n plus 1 over 2 uh -huh, plus uh, what am I here? Beware, beware, danger. Oh no, right. There's there's something wrong with that, isn't there? What triangular number do we have for S7? Well, we went up from 1 up to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. Ooh, we did not get up to 7, folks. We only got up to 6. So that N needs to be N minus 1. It needs to be 1 less. Okay. Now what about the rest of this? What's this here? This... This part here, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So S7 is what? Oh, well, let's see, that's 6 plus 7. All right, so that is, in fact, what I think we're going to start with. We're going to start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oh, 8. How many ones do we have in this S7? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, why did I group them this way? Well, if you look at S6, I've got six sixes in the parenthesis. Here I'd have, when I'm done, seven sixes in the parenthesis plus one more. Hmm. So that's n plus one. Hey, wait a moment here. Didn't I just say the functional equation on the first video was d n n minus one over two plus n d zero plus a zero? And so it is. It works. So we've rediscovered that equation. We found out why that functional equation was what it is. So based on that, what should be your answer? Uh, well, in fact, I've already written it for you. Here it is. And oops. Oh, lost that little parenthesis. Let's go move it down there. There it is. Okay, great. And so that explains why that, why that functional equation is the way it is. Okay, there's one more video, and this video is an optional one. Uh, optional in the sense that if you want to see how the second order differences work and why I call them second order differences, you can see that. I strongly recommend you have a look at it because I think it's rather neat. Okay, well, hope to see you then.